Hello YouTube, this is the review of the 1350 Gallery Models USS New York LPD-21. I have, as you can see, the top of the box uh, open because when I first got this and I opened it up to try to get the wrapping off of the hull, it was pretty hard. But as you can see, it comes with three photo edge sheets. That's the side of the box. Is, and this side has photos of it. And it comes with more than 760 parts. Length is 23.4 inches. Can position the equipment crane. Fully detailed bridge, as you can see, requires plastic glue. And as we all know, not it's not included. This is your suggested paint colors. Comes with a great selection of vehicles since it is, since it is a amphibious assault ship. Assault vehicles, landing crafts, aircrafts, helicopters. Um, other side of the box, same picture. As for the inside, has a lot of stuff. So, this first bag has the front deck and part of the, I assume, hangar bay. Yeah, the helicopter's hangar. I assume that this is part of the hangar. And this next screw is definitely the low deck. I'm probably gonna scratch build some uh, platforms and put some extra photo etch railing on it just to bring it to life a little bit more. If I actually do do that, um, I will probably try to find a way to put lights in it. And I actually have done that lights with my 130 Trumpeter USS Nimitz. I will have a video on that soon, but it is not quite finished yet just because I need to put a macro on it. This is probably the hangar deck, or I mean the wall deck floor. And these look like the bulkheads that go that you put inside the ship, the, the ship's hull. Um, these are small parts. Looks like maybe some of it will build into the equipment crane. This is not, uh, this is not bent. That is actually how the tower is positioned. So if you do up, end up getting this kit, don't don't bend it the right the right way because you'll just ruin it. And this is part of the hovercraft. I will probably end up doing this in the aircraft first because I normally procrastinate uh, procrastinate way too much when it comes to that stuff. Especially when I do aircraft carriers, because they take a long time, as you know. And this screw has the stand's name, USS New York, LPD-1, 1350 scale. Has the front part of the ship, the sonar dome, I believe. Um, probably some more details for the outside of the ship. This is the bridge. Actually, uh... I think it is the bridge, part of it at least. This is definitely a landing craft. I say definitely because I wasn't too sure when I opened it because of this. I actually do really want to do one of these first because they look really cool. This is another part of probably this ship, or, you know, hovercraft, whatever. Not too quite sure what this is. Um, I think this will go on the bottom of the ship, the keels. These are little uh, towers for the hovercrafts, or landing crafts, I forgot what this will go on. This has a lot, a lot of detail. 
and I can't wait to just put some panel liner on that after I clean it up. This is uh, vehicles. I have some, you know, tank treads, turret, at the top, and going on to the stack of clay parts. Um, I am not an expert, but I think this is a Cobra or a Viper. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't really know what that is. I think these are uh, the propellers for this helicopter because this doesn't have anything. Oh wait, I'm smart. Uh, it's not for this one. Never mind. I am not too quite sure what this is then. This is uh, the Chinook. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, Sea King. That's what it's called. Oh, I think this sprue is for this. Like, I think these two go together. And it gets, yeah. And this is, the t these are the two Ospreys. And these two go together with this. And they are cleave plastic. I uh, really can't stand clear plastic aircrafts. But I know it has a lot more detail than regular ones that aren't, that are just like molded in. The Trumpeter, the one that it did for the 1350 USS Nimitz, the aircraft are not uh, clear at all, but it does have a clear canopy. So it's like molded in a light ghost gray plastic with like colorized black wheels and uh, engine nozzles. It comes out to be uh, pretty good and it, do, it, it does have like, like this, like these aircraft engraved panel lines. So it's, I mm, haven't built one of these uh, clear kits, uh, clear aircrafts for a while, but last time I did, I couldn't really, you know, find a difference between the, uh, the clear plastic and this. The reason, and another reason why I don't like this is because, as you can see, the canopies are on there already. Obviously these are helicopters, you can't really do anything about that, but it's still pretty hard. I mean, I mean the best thing that I could do. I know I can just like cut up masking tape into really small squares, but I hate doing that. It's way too time consuming. So I would probably put on a uh, liquid masking tape. That's probably my best bet for this. Okay, moving on to that little compartment. You have the a sprue or A P E fret has the flight uh, flight deck net nettings, uh, some railings on it, the vents, ventilation systems. Uh, I'm not too sure what those like bar things are. Same thing on the other side. And for this, um, was not my fault. I'm not going to point fingers at anybody, but this is the B fret, has more of those things, once again, not too sure what those are, what they're going to be, more railing, tons of railing actually, uh, I'm pretty sure that these are ladders, as you can see, 27, got bent, I said I think it got bent, I'm not too sure, but I think you can see it. Yeah, got bent. Um, that's why I think the way Trumpeter packages it is better. The way you just like put a kind of like saran wrap right over it. And you have more uh, landing gear, it's land, uh, landing gear, landing deck nettings. I'm not too sure what that is. Probably like water vents or something. These off to the side, and these are the masts. Um, you know the typical, uh, or at least before they before ships got modernized, the masts were just like right out there. And of course, the Ollie Burke class destroyers and a lot of other ships still have the masts out there. But the San Antonio class, which is 
what the USS New York is a part of, their masts are in these little towers. Uh, little, but they are in the towers, that's so it's protected from the weather and it's not damaged. So this is for the hangar, the weld deck doors. I'm not too sure what's in this thing. But yeah. Um, I assume these are just little details since it's completely covered. I love that, that they put foam over it. I assume the same type of sprue. And here is this. Now, I will open this. This is the forward part, or the top structure of the ship. And if you look in the bottom, you can tell that it has details on the roof. That is great if someone wants to make the hangar bay open. The only problem is, I'm, it's gonna be really hard to put lights in it. And I just, oh, I just opened this and I just saw that. So I'm, if I do decide to do it, I'm gonna, try really hard to work around that because the type of LED strips I used for I just said it the lights that I used for the USS Nimitz are LED strips and I just put them on the top of the flight or at the bottom underside of the flight deck it, it's decent looking the hangar bay is scratch built but I think it looks pretty good but this has great detail, as you can see in here, and this is the where the helicopter hangar is going to be, and it does has the uh, arrows. If you looked, if you saw that, um, it has the same type of details in there. And this, I'm not sure why it's punched up, but clearly, uh, due to that outline, you won't need to be worried about that of some sort. This is where you're going to put the vents and whatnot. And probably, I'm pretty sure you put something else here, and that's where you they have the lifeboats. This is the fourth part of the superstructure. I'm pretty sure you put something else here, and you can like paint the windows on it. I'll probably paint the windows uh, clear, clear green or black. I don't know. And here is the lower part of the hole. As you can see, it's sturdy plastic, and I know some people have pointed out with the Tamiya uh, 148F14, when you drop a plastic sprue, you it makes a really clean noise, and that's how you can kind of tell it's not cheap plastic, and let me do the same thing. That, for this size, is not cheap at all, and the price of this online, and if even if you find it at a hobby shop, I can tell you that, same thing for this. For the size of it, it's really good. Um, it has a lot of details on it. You can have like doors, panel in that, and bring it out. And it's not even a big seam line at the bottom. It is a full full hole kit, as you know. It's pretty obvious. Just have to sand off this bit. Of course, this along the line. Probably gonna have to give it a wash because it looks like some oils on it. Sand this off. And if I'm correct, I'm gonna want to send this part off too. And a little fit test. I'm not entirely sure how this goes, but I think just ports in like this. And oh boy. Well, it's probably squished in so it probably can't go in but you will eventually have to spread it open a little to put the bulkheads in so that will probably help a lot with the fit but it does from what i know it's not a cheap kit i don't think it would be cheap 
I don't think with this price it even would like do anything. I mean, it, it's easily fixed even if it doesn't go away. It'll just take some time. And really quick, I know I have called it, I call it the gallery models, but I'm pretty sure if my sources, if my sources are correct, then it is gallery models are the same thing as trumpeter because they have released the same kits, either that or galleries are knockoff. And they do have the same type of stands, which the majority of trumpeter kits come with. Black stand, some details on it, not the best. Okay, this is instruction book. I'm gonna go kind of quickly over it. I will show you that details. They have a ton on it. This is the building of the hangar deck. The well deck, I mean. Sorry, apologize. This is the helicopter hangar bay. Putting it on, as you can see, bulkheads. This is the crane. Yep, uh, lifeboats. I'm not too sure what those are. Oh, there's a pair of rockets. Uh, more superstructure parts that you can see putting it on. Like I said, we'll probably stretch it out so it can fit. Uh, putting on some small parts, PE parts, details. Uh, towers. See, photo etch. Glad it marks it because some trumpeter kids do not. See, putting on some small details. This is the bridge. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Right here. I actually, oh, I didn't realize that you can, uh, th this is the outline. That's photo edge. That's, that's great. Okay, so I'll just, you just like paint this green and then glue it. That's great. More details. Putting on the finishing touches. Oh, these things, yeah, I was right. Those are like those, uh, I don't, I don't know what they're called. Uh, you have the propellers and the, I apologize. Anyways. Uh, finishing touches. It does come with anchor chain. I forgot to show that. I will show that at the end. And anchors, decals for the numbers. And this is where you're getting into the Leningrad See, that's what that looks like. Looks really cool. I actually really want to build one of these. This, actually, this kit will be one of the last ones to complete my character strike group. And I will eventually show that. I do have the Missouri. I need to post videos on those kits. I just need this, like, the last two. I... I'll, we'll just need the uh, GS class cruise, uh, cruiser, yeah, nuclear cruiser. Um, but the problem with that is, you know, they're discounted by the manufacturer, and I think the only two companies that have made it are Dragon and uh, it's 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 hilarious. And those aren't the best. And this is an instruction manual for the aircraft. Not too complicated. The one with the most parts. Definitely the Sea King and Osprey. Okay. This is paint guide bent. I'm gonna say that's the manufacturer's problem, but it doesn't really matter. All right, you have these huge flags to be notorious for carrying. Um, if I'm correct, it does give you decals for something. I will show that. Uh, here's the back side, has the markings for aircrafts. That's gonna be great. I'm glad they included that. And then it comes with numbers for the landing crafts. And has decals for the hovercraft, hovercrafts too. That's gonna be really fun to do. Um, let me open this thing up. This not entirely sure what it is. I'm pretty sure this is the ship's crescent. As many of you know, it's remember 9-11 because the ship was built with some of the recycled 
uh, steel from the twin the twin towers. And oh, sorry for my dog. Huge decal sheets, really scary, but I love putting decals on. Oh boy, okay, um... Oh no... Uh, I was... Talking about, um... This, the... Flight deck put on all these bunch of white lines i was kind of hoping it'd be the solid piece ones but for the size of it it's understandable we'll get through it and it will look fantastic at the end so you have all these white lines new york put at the back um the safety circle red lines that's it for that one. Uh, this next decal sheet is mainly for aircraft. Open it up. Yeah, this decal sheet has, she has four huge flags. That is great because this will definitely go in the sphere box for all my 1 through 50 ships that I want to put a huge flag on. Because, yeah, why not, you know, in America. Landing crafts or hovercrafts or something that's landing crafts, though. Um, oh, my apologies. This is landing crafts uh, sheet. This is the hovercrafts. I think this or this is like the Sea Kings. Doesn't really matter. No. But obviously, I'll just be able to figure it out with the pinky egg. Yeah. I think this kit is worth the money considering it is. It has more than, uh, what, 760 parts? Is that what it said? I think it's definitely worth the money. If if you want to do one of these kits, obviously it's not going to be cheap for the amount of detail that you'll need for it to make it look decent. You always have the option for the 1700 one, the Hobby Boss version. Those aren't the best. So, great kit. I can't wait to get started on it but I'm going to have to force myself to do the aircraft first. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is my review on the gallery models or trumpeter. This is New York LPD-21.